Lesson 8, coordinate geometry, the perpendicular distance formula. Example 1. Find the perpendicular distance from the point minus 1, 3 to line 4x plus 3y minus 2 equals naught. Now, if you don't know the formula, then it's quite a difficult one to do, but we'll just write down the formula we learnt in that first theory lesson. And that is perpendicular distance is equal to the absolute value of ax1 plus by1 plus c all over the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, now very carefully we say that x1 is equal to the minus 1 and the y1 is equal to 3. My a is equal to the 4, the coefficient on the x. The b is the 3 and the c equals negative 2. So it's just a simple matter of substituting those values in. So that becomes minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. And 3 times 3 is the 9. Min oops, 9 minus 2 all over the square root of a squared, which is 16, plus b squared, which is 9. And that becomes 3 on 5. That's your perpendicular distance. All right, example 2 shows the line 5x minus 12y minus 7 equals 0 is a tangent of the circle x minus 2 all squared plus y plus 3 all squared equals 9. Now initially you might think you have to use calculus. Now just a simple understanding of circle geometry will help you here. So I'll draw a circle. Now this will have the centre 2, negative 3. And if this is a tangent to it, then we know that the angle between the radius and the tangent is a right angle. So if the perpendicular this, this point's line is equal to the radius of the circle, which is 3, then this line will be a tangent. So we'll just investigate that. Now we know that x1 is equal to 2. We know that y1 equals negative 3. We know that a is equal to 5. We know that b is equal to negative 12. And c equals negative 7. So now using the formula, p equals the absolute value of ax1 plus by1 plus c all over the square root of a squared plus b squared. We will have 10. Now this would be plus 36 minus 7 all over the square root of 25 plus 144. And that will give me, the top line becomes 46 minus 7, which is 39, over, now this becomes the square root of 169, which is 13, which of course is 3 units. So therefore, this is a tangent to this circle.